Oh, for the sink. about to go down <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i literally look oh now i'm red i look like flashback mary but like everything it's like you guys are seeing the eclipse or something i've just blinded you okay let me reopen these blinds and start this again i don't know if you guys heard probably have heard my grandparents heard on the news there is a huge tropical storm heading this way it's turned into a typhoon mang hut his name's mang hut he's on his way here it's supposed to arrive oh they're saying saturday night now which is tonight it's saturday now and um we have typhoons all the time typhoon is basically strong wind and rain and it happens a lot in hong kong so you get used to them but now everyone's panicking because it's supposed to be a really really big one and i've never been here for a huge one i think the last biggest one happened when i was living in tokyo so it's pretty interesting to see how hong kongers prepare i've noticed two main things one Oh, 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 there's so many, found so many. Okay. This is what they do. Some sort of demonic ritual that you add this to your window with masking tape. And honestly, I'm not a window engineer or anything or a scientist, but I don't get how that's gonna work. I think if there's super strong wind and rain and your window's gonna break, it's gonna break no matter what. That tape's not gonna help it. Everyone's rushing out buying masking tape. I was walking around yesterday and there was a long line outside of a store and people just buying masking tape like crazy. Signs up on stores saying they're sold out of masking tape. There's news articles telling you where to buy your masking tape and which stores are sold out. It's pretty crazy. I don't get how masking tape is gonna help. What it would help, I think what it would help is it would make the glass not shatter into small pieces maybe like it would hold it together so that it's bigger but I don't think it's gonna keep the typhoon out if it wants to go in the only thing I think it can keep out is Satan That's and to me the thing that would be more annoying than picking up smaller pieces of glass is taking off masking tape from the window. Like, first of all, think of placing masking tape on a window. It's gonna make marks. It's gonna take a long time to get it off. Add, add the hot Hong Kong sun, which is going to melt the plastic of the tape even deeper and stick into the window even more. And you're gonna be spending hours and hours. Like, half of them are probably just gonna end up leaving it up. I know it. I'm gonna watch and I'm gonna see. This is still gonna be up by Christmas because no one's gonna wanna take that down. No one has time for that. Anyways, um, the masking tape thing. If, if you live here and you get it, or if you're an engineer and you get why that makes sense, please explain it to me in the comments because I don't understand and maybe I'm gonna regret it. Maybe something's gonna happen to my window and I'll be like, I should've made the, the. No, I don't think I'm gonna go in 4404 it's literally gonna look like a horror scene tonight or tomorrow morning whenever it happens when it's all dark and like crazy storms and winds and rain and I look out into the darkness and I see these demonic things in people's windows it looks like the end of the world another thing that looks like the end of the world is grocery stores right now everyone is rushing to buy food and stock up it's only supposed to last one day, maximum two, so that's another thing I don't really, but I guess you need to prepare for the worst, that makes sense, especially if you have family, you have pets, you need to, so we're, we are gonna go to the grocery store, we're gonna see how that whole situation is there um, in a second, that's part of today's plan. We're also gonna be going to our new apartment just to check that everything's closed tightly and everything is secure. Before we do all that, I just got a delivery from Zara. So I want to show you guys all the fall fashion is coming out. I rarely go shopping in person, like seeing people in a shop anymore now. Ordering online is so easy. You order it, they deliver it within a couple of days. Try it on at home in your own convenience. Film a YouTube video unboxing, it's content. And then people can give 
all their opinions on what you look like. And then you can easily just, I guess the sending back part is the bad part because if you if you don't like it, you can either send it back, which is kind of a hassle to go to the, the post office because the lineups are always long and going to the post office is annoying. But then you could also bring it back to the store, but then that kind of defeats the purpose because you've got to talk to people. If you get it right, if you know what you like, you know your size, it's a pretty good deal. So I've got a hoodie. Now I don't really know what works and what doesn't work with my hair. Changing out my hair has changed up a lot of colors I think look good on me or like I feel like I need bolder makeup so my face doesn't look washed out. This is like too close to my hair color. I don't know, maybe I think layered it's gonna be fine. It's just a simple hoodie that I can layer with colors. It's a neutral. Ooh. This shirt I'm really excited for. I feel like it's gonna bring out the green in my hazel eyes. Some of this stuff's long. I'm gonna set you guys up here. I also got this shirt. It kind of looks like a paper bag. Oh, I love that book, Paper Bag Princess. Um, but I thought it would look good with some shorts and some high boots. It's, it's gotta be worn with the right outfit, but. I think it's gonna look cool. It's gonna look cool, trust me. So this can be adjusted here. This has the little black details here. Again, it's gonna go good with layering stuff like a chunky turtleneck. And I just love the deep brown colors that come out in the fall. So I just wanted to get some neutral bits that I can layer with things. And I'm gonna have fun with that. Zara's stuff is on point. This is like the second package I've got lately and I'll show you, you'll see what I wear later. A lot of it's gonna be from Zara this fall. Love their t-shirts. Like I mentioned in a previous video, Jenny from Blackpink was wearing one of them the other day. That's how I know it's really cool. I actually, <laughs> I, I love, yeah, I have a confession. I really, really love Blackpink. If you don't know who Blackpink is for some reason, they are a Korean K-pop band and their music and their amazing dancing, all that aside, if you want to really fall in love with them, go to their YouTube channel, check out their reality series, The Black Pink House, and you will become obsessed instantly. Like, I couldn't stop watching it. So my favorites are Jenny. I love Jenny's style. I love her whole look. And I love Lisa's personality. I'm obsessed with these two. So I started following a lot of black pink accounts that post their fashion. In my last video, a lot of you were asking me where I got that pastel sweater from. And in one of the black pink, I feel like I need to darken my camera. Okay, there I am. In one of the black pink episodes, Jenny was wearing this sweater when she was cooking um, and it had fruit all over it. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. So I found it in one of those accounts showing their fashion and it was from a brand called Unif. So I went on their website and that's how I found this pastel sweater. Long story short, it's Unif. And um, yeah, so if you want some fashion inspiration, look at those black pink closet accounts because I just love stuff that those girls are wearing. Oh, well, you guys might be wondering about my workout too. Actually, you're probably not. But as you saw this morning, because of course I documented it, I'm doing cardio again. It's been about a year and uh, uh, a year. <laughs> it's been about a, mo a month and a half since I had my surgery. And I slowly started doing cardio again. I'm not lifting heavy weights or doing abs or anything heavy because of course I can't do that yet. But I started walking. <laughs> come from I started walking I started um, walking slowly then faster then on an incline and then I started running and now I'm even skipping a little bit just a light jog like a 30 minutes maximum it feels good to sweat again the two seconds of dancing like a k-pop star has me out of breath I don't know how they do it and they look so good while doing it Lisa's dancing is cool I don't we don't know exactly when it's coming so it's supposed to hit at like at night tonight so we've got to get everything done look how beautiful it looks but it's so deceiving it's very very soon it's all happening here babe 
No baby. What's the scariest typhoon you've ever experienced living here? Is there a scary one? No. Never. Just the buildings are so high and so many mountains. So. so it blocks the water? But I guess like they're evacuating Taiyo, I heard, so if you live lower and closer to the sea, it's a bit scarier. Yeah. Question number two. What do you think about my hair now? Is it growing on you? Uh, it still looks better now because the rust is coming out. Yeah, I got some little sprouts. Sprouts yep. happening. So you like it? Yeah, it's good. Really? Edgy. Edgy? So you take back what you back what you said about it not looking good and I shouldn't cut it. You know I still like this all long hair. But you like this one too. I like long hair better. Do you love me? Do you want to make Russian Chinese quarter mile boy babies with me? True, look at this. This is another change. Usually Hong Kong is covered in advertisements here. There's huge billboards. It's usually Apple. Oh, there, whatever, in this vicinity. All the ads are gone. Whoa, never seen Hong Kong with no ads. Okay, so we are on the way. We're on the way to our new apartment right now. A lot of you guys asked when we're moving, if we're even moving or going to Canada or what's going on with that. And yes, we are. It's still under renovation. It's been taking a while. We're hoping to move in November. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'll show you guys a little sneak peek today, depending on what it looks like. guys to get to know him a little bit because uh okay, do this video called one million views <laughs> it's never it's not gonna get one million views or what about likes how many likes does that have to get huh i get like six thousand maximum okay ten thousand Okay, if this video gets 10,000 likes, make sure you thumbs it up. Then Albo Sun is gonna do a fiance day with me and leave below your questions. All right, so mission one was eat lunch. Mission two, we have to break into our apartment's mailbox. So when the people doing the renovations came, we gave them all the keys and somewhere along the way, the keys are, we can't find them basically and the mail key is missing and we're getting calls from management to pay our bills but the bills are inside this mailbox and we don't have a key to get them out. I brought tools. I've got this. Chopsticks. Oh, no, that 
for the pocket pocket <laughs> uh, A straw cleaning thing. I think I have to use this stick and then grab it. Yes. Tell how long we didn't check our mail. So welcome to our apartment. <laughs> Here's the first look. Oh god. I don't know how this is gonna be finished by November. So yeah, that's what it looks like right now. We knocked down pretty much all of the walls and rebuilt them and we've changed the layout completely. And I'm a little bit terrified that it's not gonna be ready in two months. This is making me feel a little bit stressed out looking at this right now. But uh, let's hope for the best. Got my liquid nitro from Starbucks. Now we're ready to brave the grocery store. Mm -hmm. We've got human snacks, we've got dog snacks. It's like typhoon is coming. Is that what it's saying? Yep. I can read it's the like crowds. Nicely, like typhoon is coming, or is it like typhoon is coming? Like winter is coming, typhoon is coming. <laughs> so behind because I didn't have any time to edit in Canada so I'm trying to pump videos out now as quickly as possible but now I am taking a little break to eat some dinner and I got my favorite spicy noodles here it's from a place called Nam K and it's basically every now and then I crave this so bad but it's a these flat rice noodles in this numbing spicy Sichuan soup base with different like tofu and vegetables and stuff on it and some veggies so i'm gonna eat this up oh, this is my go-to food now when i crave like junk food or or like fast food i want this it is so delicious The wind is crazy strong now. My boyfriend's still, my fiance, my fiance is still sleeping I'm with Rosie. Um, but it, not too much happened last night. I wouldn't really know I took a sleeping pill. I've had insomnia for like a little while now. So yesterday we went and got sleeping pills finally. But uh, yeah, I had a good sleep. Not too much of the storm. The main part of the storm is gonna happen today at 12. It's currently, 8 30 and there's a signal 9 right now so the winds are really strong i think the highest they've ever had is a 10 but this is supposed to be the worst storm yet hitting hong kong right now it's really windy really rainy you can't see outside the window it just looks white um i know a lot of people have been evacuated that live close to water you can even hear, because the wind is so strong, even though the windows and doors are all closed, it still moves the inside windows and doors just from the draft coming in underneath between the cracks, which is pretty crazy. So our plan today, I'm just watching YouTube now and drinking coffee. Until they wake up. And our plan today is just to stay in. Obviously, everything's closed. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness. You guys hear the noise? This is actually getting scary. The building's moving so much. We're having an issue because this window is broken and it keeps pulling. It's going to pull it right off the hinge, but we've tied everything to try and keep it closed. It's already broken through cables. Have you ever seen anything like this in your life? 
literally feels like we're on a boat right now in heavy waves. The water is actually strong enough that it's leaking through the windows here. Look at the ceiling. This is my... How did it come off? That's so weird. And then there's like dirt flying in. Is there like water or something inside? Maybe we should make the X with the masking tape. You go here? Lighthearted jokes aside about the masking tape on the windows, uh, the typhoon swept through here and did quite a bit of damage yesterday. It's the next day now and I'm just looking at the mess it made and everyone's cleaning up and there's a lot of um, news being put out there, videos, whatnot, but some buildings under construction fell down, flooding, a lot of damage has been done and a lot of people and animals are in need of help. And I hate to put this out there because I hate to ask you guys for things or push my beliefs on you, but because this channel and so many of you were invested in the dog shelter I help out on, I've posted two videos on it now and a lot of you guys donated and invested your hard turn hard earned money and also your time sharing posts into that. I wanted to tell you guys that they're in a bit of trouble right now. I shared it on my social media so maybe most of you guys know about it, especially if you're following their social media, but basically the area has all been flooded. There's a lot of damage done. All the food has been soaked with water and is not edible. What they need right now is donations more than ever because it's gonna take a lot to clean up everything. The food, they need money to buy all new food. Uh, towels. So I will leave all their info below if you're interested in helping them out in any way, whether it be your time if you live near there and you can walk there, or donations, or sharing stuff about them. I will keep you guys updated. No, Annabelle, I should say, is doing an amazing job keeping the Instagram updated so you can follow there if you are interested in knowing what happens in the future. And uh, yeah, just a kind reminder, I know there's a lot happening not only in Hong Kong, but at the the typhoon also swept through the Philippines. I know there's a lot of flooding going on in America right now. There's a lot of natural disasters, human disasters, a ton of things going on. So just be kind, do what you can, donate if you can, share posts about causes you believe in or donate your time. It's all pretty calm now. The typhoon is a level, it was a level three this morning. I'm not sure what it's at at this point, but everybody's just outside cleaning up dealing with the damages done to their homes and helping out where they can right now, but all is calm, it's pretty sunny, cloudy. And as much as I try to keep my humor and keep things light and relatively entertaining for you guys, things started to get pretty scary. Especially with the building swaying, it made you feel really sick. I know that's okay because I know also in Japan, buildings are built to sustain like shaking and high winds, they have a leveling out thing. If it didn't actually sway, that would be bad. That would make it topple down. So swaying is definitely a good thing. But I think approximately 600 trees have fallen down. So now the mess is mostly cleaning up the trees and the roads and the flooding. But yeah, so I'm gonna leave this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all stayed safe and dry and continue to do so. Um, and I will see you in my next video.